the second one that is in the news has been that a nuclear capable Agni P missile test fired. It has many advanced technologies and will strengthen our credible deterrence cap capabilities. Like I already mentioned every several times that uh, we need to be equipped very well in order to be emerge as a major global power, military power in the uh, region, in the Asia, as much as in the scenario, uh, in the political scenario of the world. So according to study, ultimate uh, military strength index by defense website, military direct, India is the fourth strongest military in the world. And according to 2020 New York Times report, Russia, America, China, Britain, after that, India is ranking sixth and uh, the most country in the missile tech strength. So you see, you know that now, uh, last time we talked about Pinaka, now today we are talking about Agni. So a new generation nuclear capable ballistic missile, Agni P means prime, was successfully test fired by the DRDO. So this was in the news item today in the morning. According to study, this has been the fourth largest and sixth superior power as far as missile technology in the world. What is Agni Prime? Agni Prime is a missile of medium to, it is medium to ICBM, intercontinental ballistic range missile developed by India, named after one of the five elements of nature, like Agni, Vayu, and you know that. Uh, so the five elements of nature, so Agni is about fire. It is the advanced version of the Agni 1 missile. Agni Prime will be the, uh, is the Agni modified version, improvised version, refined version of the uh, Agni, Agni 1. What is Agni Prime? It's a uh, short range ballistic missile that will have a range of 1000 km to 2000 km and will have advanced features in agility and road mobility. So you can see they have got more uh, uh, strategic uh, uh, cap capabilities than the Agni 1. It is a surface to surface missile and that can, Agni Prime is a uh, surface to surface missile that can carry a payload of about 1000 kgs or a nuclear warhead. So the double stage missile will be lighter and much freaker than predecessor. So as you see the evolution and the refinement of technology that things can become smart, smarter, sleeker and uh, less, less heavy than the earlier versions. Improvised version is that. The missile follows actually the trajectory as it is described in the textbooks, meeting all the objectives with high level of accuracy. What are the objectives? It, uh, it has got the uh, objective is a high precision target, achieving high precision target from a long range distance. So many advanced technology, what makes this Agni Prime a superior missile and one of the best missiles and something that we should be proud about our, uh, the solution to our uh, the technology, missile technology arsenal. Uh, that is, they, can, they include composites, propulsion systems, innovative guidance and control mechanism and state-of-the-art navigation systems. That is why it makes superior than the rest of the technologies. What are the other Agni missiles? They are long-range nuclear vacuum capable surface-to-surface ballistic missile. Agni-1 was initially developed under IGMPD, MDP, meaning Integrated Guided Missile Development Program and tested in 1989. After its success, Agni missile program was separated from the IGMD upon realizing we found that this Agni-1 can be further improved will have give us immense strategic advantage and capability and advantage over the enemy. So therefore we have developed this and we got it separated from IG -D, IGMDP. You see what are the missiles developed under IGDMDP? Short range surface to surface ballistic missile Prithvi, intermediate range surface to surface ballistic missile Agni, short range low surface to surface missile Trishul, medium range uh, surface to air missile Akash, and third generation anti tank missile NAC. So now this Agni got separated from the IGMDP, looking at its uh, enormous strength and power and strategic advantage it can give. It was further Agni 1 was improved as the Agni Prime. It was designated as a special program in India's defense budget and provided adequate funds. As of November 2019, missile in the Agni series are being inducted into service. You can look at this. So Agni Prime will come here so that because it is in the range of 1000 to 2000 kilometers. So it is filling the critical gap which was not there earlier. You had a long, there was a critical gap between 1200 and uh, 2000. 
Now we got exactly 1000 to 2000 kilometer Agni Prime now here. <coughs> Which we are discussing being test fired now and giving you that superior uh, tactical advantage and military advantage. So actually IGEMDP was a brainchild of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, our uh, much beloved president of India, late president of India. It was intended to attain self-sufficiency in the field of missile technology. So it is uh, nothing but an uh, Atma Nirbharta and self-sufficiency. After keeping in mind the requirements of various types of missile, the program recognized the need to develop five missile systems and that's why we developed the five missile system. Formerly, it got the approval of Indian government in as long as, as early as 1983. Now it brought together the country's scientific community, academic institution in R&D laboratories, industries, and three different services in giving shape to the strategic indigenous missile. So it is a very holistic uh, approach, meaning it's an integrated uh, approach involving all these scientists, academicians, and R&D laboratory, military industry, complex academia, um, and also uh, the defense forces coming together to provide, bring out uh, excellent technologies so that uh, we become we continue to be the sixth uh, major power as far as nuclear technology, missile technologies are concerned. So that is about the Agni P missile. Now the new key measures for economy we wanted to discuss, but uh, honorably our Satyananda sir has discussed in detail about all the important programs that have been in detail he has mentioned. So I will confine only to these two topics for today. And we are done for the, this. It's a, to avoid repetition, I'm not taking discussing this because it's exactly the same one which Sir has, Satyanar Sir has discussed so nicely and eloquently, elaborately so far. So I don't want to repeat it further. So thank you very much. Uh, we uh, complete the discussion for two important topics today. That's the drone technology, which is increasingly menacingly became posing a national security threat and to have uh, rogue guidelines in place to counter the rogue uh, man de deployment of this, uh, the uh, drones. And the second one is Agni P missile, uh, Agni Prime missile, which is giving us far superior advantage and capability, uh, military tactical capabilities. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, we can take it. <laughs>